pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And I assume you've had time to go over what you got on your phone for the December 1st, 2020 and January 4th minutes. Yep, I make a motion to approve the minutes of December 21st and January 4th. And I'll second that. I make a motion we approve payroll in the amount of one hundred and seventy eight thousand six hundred and two dollars and thirty six cents. And I'll second that. And we need to acknowledge the receipt of payroll claims, accounts payable, and the amount of a hundred thousand. $840.36. And Just look at one more thing, Ken. Stand real quick and then I'll get there. No, go right ahead. That's fine. I make a motion we acknowledge receipt of the payroll claims accounts payable report, $100,840.36. And I'll second that. Now it looks like we have hand type checks, four of them. No before for 1,931.85, Travelers 837.20, Branson Insurance $9,239, and Branson Insurance for $126,749. Any others? Any Is that additional all those two that that right Okay, those four. Most of these are. Insurance claims, yes. for insurance bills. So. Yeah, it's for the workman's comp, the two from Branson, I yep. assume, that we just mm -hmm. renewed. I make a motion we approve the hand type checks as presented to us. Uh, no before, travelers, and two for Branson insurance. And I'll second that. Okay. Looks like we have four contracts here. One for Nick. Yeah. Uh, Anything we need to know? I mean, they're just standard on uh, uh, indigent contracts. One year contract, um, fees are all the same, um, public defender representation. Yeah. Um, there's a fees in there. If there's a jury trial, there's per day fees, which is standard. It, it's your standard public defender contract. Okay. Nothing Same different. contracts we basically signed every, every year. year. Nothing's right. changed. All right. And we can do all four at the same time, can't we? Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve the contracts for legal services for indigent defendants for four uh, attorneys, Jeff Thomas, Nick Sauter, Justin Froge, and Jane Brewer. And I'll second that. Okay. I don't think there was any place. 
place on them. Is there them. nowhere they need to be signed? They just needed a vote? They were signed by the yeah. uh, public oh, defender. Okay. Yeah. It's just approval from the county. Uh, next, Cindy Todd. COVID-19 response three. Got it for you, so I make the sign. Okay. So that is the one for this Food Security Alliance program that we're establishing. So we're applying for that for the fifty thousand. So it requires a signature page from the applicant as Park County. So Dan, I need your signature, and then then Nick's on the back page. And then Nick's on the other. Yep. It just states we have control, site control, to do this in Park County. Nick's the only other one on the back page, I think. Yeah. Nick, it's you, not me. Oh, boy. Kim Shorter. She got new payment systems and just giving you guys information. Kim's not here. Um, I noticed in the paper, or not in the paper, or something that I had I'd seen somewhere, that right now they're not taking anything but checks and money orders and cash. They mm -hmm. can't take any kind of Evidently they haven't got it set up completely. Electronic right. device for credit cards or whatever. Right. Yeah. Is that correct? That you're aware of that yeah. they're not taking any. Mm -hmm. Is this then supposedly the new yes. credit yes. card yes. thing? That, mm -hmm. Okay. I, mean, I wish she'd have been here to kind of tell us a little about it, as far as yeah. you know well, what well, it is. And I didn't. Laura's going to give you the front page. There's the whole thing if you want to glance through it. It looks yeah, like they're better off if they actually swipe the card than if they key an entry on the card. That's the only real observation. Did you I want to look at this? Or have you looked at it? I looked at it very quickly today when I got here. As I say, I can't watch yours, but I didn't even. I don't even know on that. I can't tell you what she paid on it. If this is the whole thing, I think, Nick, unless she forwarded all of it to you, though, we didn't get the whole. All we got was the front page of the contract. Yeah, it's just the signature page. Does this have to be signed tonight, or do you, would you prefer speaking with her? And I mean, if she just sent me the rest of the contract, to, then I can... Well, the whole thing's here. If oh, you, you have it? Yeah, that's I what I said. The whole Here's thing. the whole thing. I don't, but it, I don't see anything in here, and, and my thought is that I, I don't know how much work it's going to cost. I don't, don't know where she's going to pay for it. I assume she's got an appropriation, but I don't know that for sure. I just hate to... 
I, have, I know they need a con a, a credit card. Don't get me wrong. That's an important part of the office. Just don't know enough about what's going on that I feel comfortable I, I approving a, something. I, I think have. we need to request that she come to the next meeting and explain what she's buying, how much it's going to cost, where she's going to pay for it from, that kind of thing. And in the well, meantime, maybe you can see it, meantime, but I don't see a contract price anywhere on there. I can look at it as you go through other stuff if you want. It don't matter. I I agree with Bruce. I prefer her coming and kind of explain to us and let us know how much money it is and where it's coming from and I have no problem table yeah, until the first meeting in there. I just looking through there, I don't see where it says you know, we're out twenty thousand, sixty thousand, hundred thousand. I don't I can't see anything in there on what we have to pay. filled in because they have on here card fee schedule and some other things but it's all blank I just make it I'll just make a motion and we table that until first meeting in February and ask him to come represent it okay make a letter now yeah I think so I mean I just feel uncomfortable doing something unless I know a little bit more about what's going on so do you mind just telling Kim if she could come to the next meeting and kind of give us a spiel on okay. uh, what we've I got and how much it's going to be and what the charges are going to be and maybe it's a per swipe fee instead of a that's what it looks like it's a per transaction fee um, on-premise face-to-face sales is five percent Real-time internet sales is 90%. Inbound telephone order sales is 5%. Um, I think it'd still be good to, to hear from her probably, though. All right. I can do that. Do you guys want me to scan that and email that to all of you? I'd at least like to. You can email it. it. Yeah, you go ahead and email it to me. We'll let Nick take unless you need that one. I need that back. Oh, okay. I'll need that Yeah, back. I guess. Then you probably That's the only should copy I've got. Go ahead and send him one then. Page three, I think, is the relevant, most relevant page. But okay. it'd be nice to see the whole thing. Uh, All right. I'll scan. Contracts anyway. I'll scan it first thing in the morning and send it to you. Then. All right. Thank you. But yeah, it's, it appears to be a per transaction charge. Okay. Next thing is a letter from the Hamilton Center. Year in with charts and graphs and same thing on the DNR. Commission report. Monthly report from the clerk's office. And the uh, commissioner's appointments, we are going to postpone them while Jim's here, in case someone has contacted him about showing interest in some of the appointments, and we'll let that ride until the first meeting in February. Do that, and probably claim. 
Okay, Bruce, do you have any other new business? Do you have any other new business? I do not have any. All or right. old business, either one. All right. And then we'll move on to Julie Lanzone is not here. Chris, is he here or did he? He's gone. He's gone. Looks like you're up, Justin. The only thing I've got, we uh, um, are going to apply for a $5,000 LCC grant for radar units. So I just need your Blessing. approval to do that. Yeah. And it's no cost to the county. They would entirely fund it. So. And it don't affect any other grants that no. currently out there? No, it's a state grant, but it's a local grant. So. Well, I don't see a problem with it. It's, I think uh, any time we can get help, it shot in the arm helps. Yeah. Did you have anything else? No, that, that was it. Okay. Do you need to make did, a motion on that? Did you hear? Him? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I didn't know if you wanted to make a motion. Or yeah, I'll just I'll go ahead. I didn't know if you were going to make a motion to go ahead and allow Justin to apply for the grant that he was uh, talking about and uh, get to go ahead and get it if we can. Now I'll second that. Thank you. Randy, you're up. Throw my pocket knife. I told you, you jinxed yourself. Next time, bring a rabbit. You find along the road or something, give him. He go outside and skin it or something. I was watching something on Discovery Channel about skinning rabbits. So you don't have to do it now. I do have to. Good. I have a check we need to get for the new dump truck we got it Friday. Um, $172,244.78. Um, could you repeat that number again? 172 what? 234 78. Well, we got new fuel. Fuel company. Uh, they are at Danville. And the Villa Hank in Indianapolis. Okay. Um, they're wanting to put in another on-road tank. We get in a snowstorm or something there. They, may not be able to keep up there. they can stay ahead of the game. Yeah. But I have a contract here on signed. Um, I rejected the first one. I sent this one to Nick. There's a couple things in there that are still concerning to me, though. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They have in their language that indicates that if there's anything that goes wrong with the tank, even if it's due to installation error, that it's our responsibility. Okay. And so, I mean, they're the ones installing the tank. Yeah. That was the main one I saw. And yeah, they should have faith in their work. Basically, all responsibility was placed on the county in the contract, even if it was something they had direct control over. Could you mark that? Yeah, I, I have a marked up version back in my office. Okay. I did. Um, I did know if you could hear me. Okay. We'll have to approve that here in a minute.
Okay, that's good. Is this their tank? They own the yeah, tank. Yeah, their tank. If they do, they bring a dike to put it in, or does that? Do we no, have? It's one of those uh, dual wall tanks. Okay. How big is it? It's another thousand gallon. Thousand. Or fifteen hundred. I forget what you now. Same size we've got. Generally, I think we ought to be responsible for usage related things, but mm -hmm. installation and maintenance would probably be on them. That yeah. would be my preference. Yeah. Well, that's what. We need it to me. Yeah. Or defective equipment also mm -hmm. on them, not us. We have a total of nine hundred thousand dollars this year. Because that's not counting the money we're getting from the state. Yeah. Uh, which is nine hundred and thirty eight thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars and seventy six cents. So we'll have to pay twenty five percent of that, which is the three twelve nine ninety six. And we're planning on paving using three hundred and seventy one thousand two hundred and forty five dollars on our own paving. And then another two hundred and six thousand five hundred and three dollars on ship and seal. And then uh, there's a list of all the roads. 275 South 2. You want to uh, use cold mix on that? Okay. 1.35 miles. That'll be from Captain Road to Fisher Road. And then Cardinal Road 1 and Cardinal Road 2. Uh, they're going to be, we've already recycled them and got stone hauled on them. And this summer we're going to prime them and double chip and seal them. On the one road from Fisher Road to 425 is $17,798. And Cardinal Road 2 from 425 to 275 South is $50,370. Then we're going to do 1100 East. That's a Old cost share, chip and seal. It's got really bad shape. We're going to recycle it and add stone to it. And then double chip and seal it again. That'll be $31,252. And then uh, the next one is Jeffrey's Ford Road. One. Roseville Road to Deer Run. 1.13 miles. $59,051. Jeffrey Ford Road 2 from Deer Run to Bridgeton Road, 1.64 mile. Um, $84,151. And Wimmer Road out here off between two, uh, New Discovery and Crips Bridge Road. I'm going to pay that $58,095. Yeah, that one needs it. It's mm -hmm. in terrible shape. And the chip and seal, we're going to seal you know, all of the narrow zones from 47 up to 1200 north. We paid some of that last year, but it needs to be followed up with chip and seal. And we repaid uh, from the bridge back to 47 two years ago, I think. We never did get up there to seal it, so we need to seal that. Yeah. While we're there, we're just going to go ahead and go on up to 1200. Um, Towpath Road from 500 north to 525 west. We'll do that one. 525 west, one from Towpath to 900 north. We want to chip that one. 450 west between 800 and 900 north. Uh, we want to chip and seal that. 
in Slab Road out here, between you know, the Clint Lawrence with the gravel, the 59, and Denman Road, and the gravel, the Angle Road. Vidal Road 3, from Bloomingdale City Limits up to Jackson Bridge. And Apples Road 3, Vidal uh, Road to 41. Henley Road from Narrows Road to 1200 North. Cook Road, we paid that. Now that's one we didn't pay last year. Um, we we're going to ship and seal it. And then Cook Road 2, uh, we, that's the one we paid last year from 100 North to yep. 41. We want to follow that up with ship and seal. And uh, 1200 East, the County Line and Ferndale Road, we're going to follow that up with ship and seal. And the next two pages is the contract paving. Yep. Deer Run Road 2, from Captain Road and Crane Road. Deer, and then Deer Road 2 again, from Crane Road to Jeffrey Ford Road. Vidal Road 4, from Jackson Road to County Road 900 North. And then County Road 900 North, between Vidal Road to B Del Road, your section enter on the state map that shows at 900 North yet. So we have to go this route. Um, and B Del Road 5 from County Road 900 North to 1050 North. And all these eight. Along with uh, County Road 460 North, that's from 41 into the Bloomingdale Corporation line. Yep. And County Line Road, which is Cold Bluff Road, from 59 to uh, Vinzant Road, and then from Vinzant Road on into Lee. Good. Looks good. Okay. Hopefully, you get all that. The contract painting is set in stone. Yeah. But, you know, we may have to. Adjusting. Actually, those roads, the Jeffers Ford and Deer Run, anybody can get from the Catlin, main Catlin Road over to the Bridgeton Road, and it amazes me how many people mm -hmm. going to work have to Terre Haute. Yeah. It's probably a 10-minute shortcut going Jeffers Ford rather than, and there's where they put the new bridge in, there's on up and through there we're in good shape. It's just mm -hmm. that one section where water. What is... We'll pay it all, we'll yes. Um, right there from on Jeff, or on uh, Deer Run Road after you leave uh, where Crane Road cuts off. Steve Crane, right there at his barn and then there's another elevation in his house. Is there a spring under there? What that road keeps dropping there. Sometimes it'll drop six, I don't eight know what inches. That, is. That, that all washed out one time, um, and we backfilled with big rock and everything. And, and I've noticed and it's. I can't sit pushing out the side. I don't, I don't know if there's an excessive amount of water coming out there. Or, I don't know what I, it is. To be honest with you, um, I had almost been tempted. I don't know if it could be done before it gets oil, which it would need to be done before it gets blacktopped. Was to have. Uh, like you, Mac, or somebody to come bore in that hillside in three or four places right where that's at and mm -hmm. shove a tube, a pipe back in there like a sand point. And if there's a spring back in there, it would at least relieve it mm -hmm. and quit dropping. We want to hear that started. We had a lot of rain, and that's why it wore out. I just hate like heck to see, I hate like heck to see new blacktop yeah. put down right there, and then next year go back and it's four inches low through that hole. I mean, it yeah. goes down. Yeah. It's 2008. We all ran past the area, yeah. and almost rained out our mirrors. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the flood that started. 
Did you have anything else? Uh, yeah. I just wanted to real quick for the people watching on the internet and for the media people, what Randy just presented to us, the how he's going to spend the nine hundred thousand that we have to spend. It worked out to be about twenty miles of paving and twenty five miles of chip and seal. So there's about forty five miles of new road going to be or yeah. pretty much new road in the county this year. So, sorry about that. You want no, to go ahead and get this out of the oh, way? Yes. We've got to take care of I'll make check. a motion that uh, we go ahead and approve this out of cycle check uh, uh, to Vomac truck and sales for 172234 And I'll second that. Now, Randy, sorry, you can go ahead and. All right. Well, with the contract paving, we need to advertise for some bids. necessary. I'll make a motion that uh, we uh, approve the notice of public bidders for the highway department for uh, the asphalt paving for the uh, uh, for the projects that the Randy just mentioned uh, and allow him to go ahead and, and uh, post the notice and get bids in so we can get those uh, uh, contracts uh, awarded and get work done as soon as the weather allows us to get it done. I'll second that. How many bids on this asphalt do you usually get very much? One or two? One last year. I, I kind of figured that. There isn't too many guys even doing it, it seems like, anymore. Yeah, and then, well, they're all owned by about one company, right? Really. Yeah. yeah. Company down in Clinton. I can't remember. Wallace. There's, there are several of these small guys around, but guys that actually have a machine to do highways and county roads. It's I like the idea of the full width paving. Yes. Do it, double it up, and got that joint in the center, and that's where all the paper is. And the joint stuff and get down and put on it, that's pretty expensive. Right up the cost of the project quite a bit. I have, I, have, I have one thing. I've had, I've had two complaints, and another person wasn't, and actually none of them was really even complaining. I think I know what the whole problem is. The new section of Coxville Road, uh -huh. uh, brand new roads always slick and don't take much. Mm -hmm. In two weeks, they've had, they, they told me, two different people told me 13 slide offs. Yeah, so next time. Next time, yeah. next time, your guys out saying them just make sure that new stretch because several people told me once you hit the old stretch, it's already a little more bitey. It's not been slick. Yeah. But uh, next, whoever sends that for you, next yeah, we time won, just we went out. Yeah, we just did, we didn't get them out for that. Tell, well, they told me in the last two weeks, these, some of these frosty mornings, they've had several slide offs in the past two weeks. So. Whoever does sanding down there, just tell them hit that part pretty good. It's okay. new and fresh, and right. probably a little oil and good smooth black top. Mm -hmm. So and that's all I have. Oh yeah, <laughs> anytime, anytime you put new black top down, they're going to go faster. Yeah, that's what those we all do. That. Units for four. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, we all do. You know, good road. Yeah. Back to green flag again. Till Justin shows up. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> it's kind of funny. The older we get, the slower we yeah, get, even driving. Right. Everybody makes fun of me. I get there, just 
maybe a couple minutes behind me. <laughs> Gets me going down 41. One time, he was going down there, and that car passed me right south of the county line. And I mean, there's oncoming traffic. So I had to brake, lay him in. And we got down there at that first stoplight there at, uh, you know, like, turn with the Menards. I pulled right up behind him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, I'm amazed how fast people go in 36 in the places oh, they yeah. pass you. I left about 4.30 this morning at the axle heading north. I, well, I was going northern Indiana, but going across 36, and I run 60, 65, and they'll fly around. It don't matter if it's a double yellow line or yeah. but. That's about as fast as it will try, actually. Go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I stay 55 until I hit that button again. <laughs> Those guys over is easy to get along with. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Randy. Thanks, Randy. Any public comments? I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. <laughs>